everyone. So last week I shared with you my wish list and recommendations for the Sephora Spring Bonus Beauty event. That is a mouthful. And like I said, I shared with you what was in my shopping cart. Well, it arrived. And so I thought I would do a little haul and demo kind of, well, this is 100% first impressions as I'm filming this. This is, what day is today? Wednesday. This video will be going up Friday. So as this video goes up, the sale has now opened up to everyone else, beauty insiders, VIBs, and Rouge can continue to shop as well. The code is, is unlimited. You can keep using the code over and over. So um, Rouge members, if you forgot something or you're watching this and you're like, oh, I want that too, go ahead and shop. You still can use your 20% off. Um, VIB, it's 15% and BI is... 10. This is not sponsored, FYI. Okay, so my box came yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was. So it came Tuesday, placed my order Friday morning. Pretty good. And this is all first impressions. I am going to start with something I didn't get it for. This is the Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream. And I thought I would also just do a little catch up with you all. It's been a little while since we chit chatted. Um, I'm actually doing a blog post for Colleen, not a video, but an actual blog. If you are not subscribed to my blog, I'm getting better at doing a blog post pretty much every video and then just extra blog posts that don't go with videos. So make sure you head over to missgoldgirl.com um, and subscribe, it's free. And I get a little more uh, cheeky over there <laughs> sometimes. You should read the captions on the pictures. They're fun. I think they're fun. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks they're funny. Anyway, um, lots going on this month. A lot of opportunities came up that I could not say no to. And Colleen is someone I just am never going to say no to. I adore her. So anyway, um, she has a Mother's Day sale, I think, going on right now. If that's going on, I'll list that below as well because there's lots of goodies over there. Okay. Focusing. So one of the things that is going to be coming up later, probably next week, I have to test it out, is a long-awaited new video, I'm joking, for my Taking One for the Team series. I think I've done two videos in that series. A third one is coming for this one. It's the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. When my box came and I opened it and there wasn't very much in there, I thought, huh, I feel like I spent a lot more money. And then I realized about this. This is, I think it was $83 which is why it's in the Taking One for the Team video. And this is very much a first impression and this will not be part of that video. I just wanna play with it. It is a um, foundation stick. I got it in the shade 0.5. I'm not even a full shade. 0.5 porcelain, just like that. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Let's just slap it on. Okay. I'm a little darker, I think, than normal because we went out of town uh, for a long weekend, we were gone Thursday and got back basically Monday morning, late, like midnight, Sunday. Um, that might be more than I need. We'll see. Um, we went to Oxford, Mississippi for a variety of things. Uh, I would like to say it was to visit my oldest son, Jake, but that would be a lie. Um, Michael and I have mentioned before, sit on a, it's called Family Council, the Ole Miss Family Council. And um, I'm also testing a brush. Sigma sent me a ton of brushes about a month ago. And this is one of them. 4D HD Kabuki. It's funky. It's like a cubic, cubist kind of artist. I don't know. It reminds me of like a Salvador Dali painting. It comes to a point and it's geometric looking. I don't know how I feel about this brush. It's very dense. Anyway. So we sit on this thing called the Ole Miss Family Leadership Council, which is a like a charity, not a charity, it's a board through the university. Um, and we had our spring meeting on Friday afternoon. So we flew in Thursday with Shane and um, a bunch of other people that we knew were actually coming in that weekend too because this weekend was also, Oxford has their annual Double Decker Arts Festival, which is this huge combo arts festival with all kinds of booths set up, um, with every kind of art you can imagine, traditional, you know, like painting type art, watercolor, acrylic, oils, and fabric arts, and sculpture, and, you know, kind of a craft fair kind of deal, which was amazing. And I found a photograph, actually, on Canvas that I cannot stop thinking about. I got the artist card. I think I'm going to buy it. 
anyway, um, and then there's live bands. They have a huge main sound stage on the square, and there's bands playing all Friday and all Saturday into the night. It's amazing. So it was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, the point being, I forgot my sunscreen. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I need a little more. One of the reasons... $83 foundation almost just... Okay. Um, just a little bit dinged. Just a little bit. <laughs> One of the reasons I picked this foundation actually was because I noticed Dorinda Medley's skin looks flawless. Um, in her one-on-one -on -one interviews, and I direct messaged her on Instagram. I'm looking in my little mirror. And asked her what she used, and she told me. Isn't that nice of her? I'll go get the cap after I'm done filming. It's on the other side of the room. Anyway, I'm going to use a different brush. I think that brush is a little too dense. I'm using a fluffier brush. This is an It Cosmetics. I don't know what it is. It's this one. It's something. Heavenly Skin. Okay, yeah, that brush is just too dense. I think it just pushes that product a little too well into the skin. I would recommend a fluffier brush when applying. But I'm gonna give that a thorough testing, apply it a variety of ways, and we'll get back to you on that. Stay tuned for a different video. Let me turn down the lighting. I'll be right back. Okay, that is better. Let's just, I didn't buy any um, special concealers or anything. Let's just use what we got. Actually, for the sake of time, because I see that I've been babbling for quite a while, I'm just gonna slap on the stuff that I already own, like just all the usual suspects, concealer and all that good stuff, and then I will hop back on when I have a new product to show you. I'll be right back. Um, don't worry, I will list all the products that I've used that you've missed in the description box if you're curious. This is not new, the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt, um, Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Um, but this brush is, again, another one from Sigma, the Tapered Highlighter. I don't think I'm a fan of this weird, this one. Although I do like how it gets in the nooks and crannies, but I feel like it's pretty dense. I think it soaks up a lot of the product. Maybe I, I need to try it with different ones. But I really do like this Tapered Highlighter one. I use this side. This side is Lightning Dust. I like it. I believe I picked this one up in a... Sephora sale from years past, or at least one year ago, maybe. The lighting is so weird. I cannot get it right today. It is a very gloomy day. Can you hear the morning dove that sits on my chimney in the early mornings? She's chirping away. I'm just loading on the highlighter. It's very gloomy. So to counteract a gloomy day, I will have my own sunshine beaming off my cheekbones here. Um, anyway, the lighting is really weird. I have my kitchen light on, which is very yellow, which is making my hair look very yellow. It's all strange, and you all probably do not care. Anyway, let's get to something new that I am excited about, which is this Jouer Blush Duo. This packaging, it's so pretty. This is something I would just keep, well, I won't, but I could keep this out. Look how pretty that is. If it'll ever focus, it's beautiful with gold detail. And inside has a very lovely mirror. I will take the plastic off now. And then two matte pale blushes. I think we know I'm a little heavy handed. I will start with the lighter of the two, which is Hold Me. Hold Me. Should I? Yes. I was gonna say, you could go one of two ways. You could start with the lightest. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the darker. What I was gonna say is you could always start with the lightest and build up to the darker, or you could start with the darker and then kinda um, tone it down by going over it with the darker. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna say. This blush is perfect for me because I am half of a shade in the Tom Ford collection. However, if you are not as challenged in the melanin department as I am, I am going to have to tell you to pass on this one. Because if this is the darkest shade, and this is the payoff under really good diva ring lights, you may not like this. I think this is great. 
I'm gonna actually go over it a little bit with the other one. These are matte. I don't know, I think it's buildable. It's buildable, but definitely to the fair end of the spectrum here. I don't think you're gonna get much payoff if you're medium toned. You're not, you're just not. Does it smell? Oh yes, it has a flowery floral scent. If that, it's not overpowering. I mean, I had to stick my nose in there, but okay. Speaking of floral, you know I picked this one up. This is the uh, Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. I'm still continuing to enjoy it. I did take it with me when we went to Oxford. I'll just put it on now, why not? I feel like it's one of those scents you really cannot overdo, thank goodness, onto brows. Um, I think this had a cap, can't find it. This is the Loon and Aster Dawn to Dusk Brow Pencil, universal shade. It's a really cool little guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it had a cap. And on this end, it has a little spoolie and it does twist up and we're just gonna pencil these suckers in and I'll be right back. Now onto another thing I have been wanting for a very long time and I finally bought the Natasha Denona Camel, I just had to double check, Camel Palette. Let's dive in. Um, what brush to use? Not sponsored by Sigma, not sponsored by anyone. Um, this was completely self-subsidized. Going in though with a Sigma E40, <laughs> with that middle shade, I'm gonna start it. Ooh, these are pigmented, hello, look at that. Whoops. Let's just tap that off on a towel in my lap. That's better. Okay, we'll have to blend like crazy on the other side. I am going literally, as soon as I hit stop, I'm going straight from here to a meeting. Luckily, it's not a business meeting. So if I screw this up and I look a little wacky, they will just figure, oh, that Marnie, that YouTuber, she's just a little cuckoo. Um, so that's okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting it in the crease, but then I'm kind of, not kind of, I'm absolutely pulling it down onto the lid. I am going to take another brush and kind of sweep it under the lid as well. That is what I'm wanting to do here. What, what brush, what brush? I don't want a lot of color payoff. So I'm gonna do a MAC 217, same middle shade with the flat part of the brush. You could use the Sigma version of this. I don't know where, I think I probably have one laying around in here somewhere. They're all interchangeable. Because it's fluffy, it's not gonna give me as much color. Like if I use the MAC 239 or a flat shader brush. And then I'm gonna go in with just a discontinued Walmart brush. I wish they would bring it back, Walmart. I am doing a video with Walmart again. Did one with them back in March. We had a good time. Apparently, they had a good time. They asked me back to do another one. Thank you, Walmart. I had a good time afterwards. I kept going back and buying more clothes. Walmart's a little addicting. Just gonna say that. Okay, this is a Sigma. What are you? E45 comes to a tiny little point. Same metal shade. We have not tried anything else yet. And I'm just running it underneath the eye. This is kind of fun for a monochromatic look. You can do a lot, a lot more, but I'm going for kind of simple today. And I'm just running that underneath the eye. And then with my finger, I'm taking the, I don't know, kind of ivory shade there. And I'm just popping that in the middle. I'll blend in a minute. Popping that there with the E40, just kind of blending the sides a little bit. And then, hmm. Another new one to me from Sigma. This is their E57. It's their firm shader. It's small. I'm using the darkest matte shade, whatever this one is called. And I'm just going to gently tap that, because I know they're pigmented, into the outer corner. And then go back with that MAC 217. And kind of pull it, blend it in, and pull it up. Easy peasy. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. We're gonna get to lashes in a second. Slap on some eyeliner. I just keep coming back to Flower Beauty, their gel eyeliner. Um, it's just brown, nothing exciting. 
I am not really happy with the top here. Um, I've been playing with eyeshadow primers again. Um, I took one with me when I went to um, Oxford. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a clean E40 and I'm grabbing the powder I used, which was the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Press Powder. And I'm just gonna clean up the edges a little. Okay, Rowdy's joined us, so you'll be hearing some bone chewing. So, this is the part I'm very excited about. I finally got my hands on the Hourglass Extreme, no, it's the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. It's a very pretty tube. Rowdy, shh, we're very excited about this. And it's very heavy. Ooh, it's a very skinny little wand. I'm excited about this because that makes it easier to get to my lower lashes. Let me get a little mirror. Let me do this off camera because the pressure is just getting to me. I'll be right back. Okay, let's finish this up really quickly. Um, I did get two new uh, Lancome Labs Lou Lip Lacquers. I did finally get the real Nuit et Jour. It's in my purse, it's lovely. And I also grabbed another one that has teeny tiny handwriting. I will put the name of it in the description box, but it looks to be like a, well, let's just see, shall we? Let's put it on, I don't even know. Kind of a reddish shade. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. It's like a berry red, a pinky red. And if you're wondering, I did just turn my ring light in on mid application because the storm clouds just rolled in. Ooh, I like this. I don't know how it's gonna wear, but I'll let you know in the description box because I'm about to hit the road. I got it. I don't even know what my hair looks like. I just put it up for this, so we're not gonna find out. Oh, and one more thing I did buy. I'm very excited. I finally got my box of Shiseido. It's a long name, let me read it. White Lucent Power Brightening Mask. Oh, that's not that long. There's six of them in the box. Let's see. And those little sheet masks that really brighten and whiten and I don't know, they were amazing, and I mean, they're expensive, but as sheet masks go, they were certainly less expensive than the SK2 masks, which I also really, really like. So, that was my haul. Um, is that everything? Yes, that was everything. Please let me know what you picked up. Um, there were some things that I wish I had bought, but like I said in the last video, there's a budget, everyone has one, and obviously I could be, spend days at Sephora and still not pick up everything that I wish I had, but you know. There's always more, and there's always another opportunity. There's the doorbell, that's my signal, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Ah, welcome to my world, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.